What's up guys? Today I wanted to talk to you about something that's important to me. What I realized was how important sometimes it is to just jump in with both feet even though it seems terrifying and totally crazy and like maybe everyone in your life is like don't do that why would you do that that's insane and the reason i say that is because a couple weeks ago we got contacted by somebody who wanted to buy our van and this person was like i play in cheryl crow's band and i'm gonna be in thunder bay on a tour we're doing the canadian folk festivals and I want to meet you guys when I'm in town. I want to see the van and maybe I can get you guys tickets to the show. So Adam and I are like, wow, that's pretty cool. And I don't know, is that real or not? But we happened to meet this guy and the drummer of the band. Both of these guys we hung out with for the day and they're amazing people. And we had a really great conversation. And then the next day we did, Adam and I did get to go to the concert and we got backstage passes and we were standing kind of at the edge of the stage where the sound guys were like if you've ever been to a concert and like the person is taking out the guitar or something like that that's where we were we were watching Cheryl Crow from that spot and <laughs> I just had this stupid grin on my face the whole time because I was just like I cannot believe that we're standing where we are watching somebody who I have admired because I always played guitar when I was younger and like Cheryl Crow is just an amazing musician and an artist and so <laughs> here we are standing so close to somebody that I'd admired for so long and through this connection of our van here we are Adam and I standing there watching this concert like immersed in it <laughs> and I just was laughing and smiling to myself because I never thought that a year ago we would be there. I never thought that this would have happened and it's weird how life unfolds and how you're rewarded for jumping in and doing something courageous and doing something different. Whatever that is, it doesn't have to be van life, it doesn't have to be like tiny landing or anything like that. Just something that you wanted to do that you've been terrified of doing and you just went and did it. And we were having this conversation about the commitment you make, especially, you know, seeing all these musicians who have worked so hard to create a really good career and have been very successful at it, yet that's something that so many people strive to do and it's really hard to have a lot of success in that area for a lot of people. But some people, somehow the stars align and they make it happen and I think a lot of that is just hard work, perseverance, commitment, dedication and consistency to their craft and to becoming the best version of themselves they possibly can be. We gave up you know the American dream to do something totally crazy to build out a van and move into this van and travel we wanted to just experience the world a little bit more and meet people and hear people's stories and connect with people and we did all of that and we took a leap of faith doing that because it could have worked out poorly maybe we would have run out of money and been back where we started but that's the worst case scenario and we never would have known that if we never gave it a shot and i guess that's what i'm saying is like you have to think about the worst case scenario, like what is the worst situation that could happen by me committing to do this. And if the worst thing that happens is you go back to where you started, that's not too bad. But if you don't try, you might always wonder. 20 years down the road, you might be like, well, what if I gave that a shot? What if I actually went and bought a van and built it out and traveled or threw a mattress in the back of a car and off I went like you don't know what would happen and what that could turn out to be I think that this like law of attraction like what you put out comes back to you and if you commit 
to your dream or your vision and you go all out for that, then somehow the universe conspires to make that happen. And it was just very cool and it was a big aha moment for me because I was like, this is not where I expected it to be yet it's totally perfect and it's exactly where we're supposed to be and I couldn't be more grateful for that and for the people that I met along the way because all of those people are amazing people and all their stories have connected with me because they've all been people who have just like jumped in with both feet with whatever it is that they're doing and they just committed to it and they found success and that success does not have to be like a million dollars in your bank account and for me and Adam, our success is not measured in dollars and cents. It's measured in our happiness and our ability to connect with new people and to have the time that we have for each other and now our growing family because we would not have that if we didn't do this. So I want to, I guess, encourage you and inspire you. If you're thinking about doing something crazy, crazy, Maybe you just should do it. Do it and commit to it and see what happens and don't let your fear stop you and don't let the fear of other people stop you from doing what you wanna do, what you're passionate about and see it through and see what happens because the worst case scenario is you're back to where you are right now watching this video and that's probably not too bad because you're watching this video and you have a computer and you have access to resources. That's what I have to say today. We'll see you on the next one. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Bye.